What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kobe KCG back at it again with yet another video. Um day number one back in the gym, back on the grind, back on it man. If y'all watched the previous video of me talking, y'all know that prep time, first really meet that I've ever done. So this gonna be a real prep really get into it um it's the first day back though so wasn't nothing too crazy um obviously we're bench so it was, it's a chest day did a little bit of shoulders called it a day um so this is the first time i'm using my new camera got a GoPro 10. it's really weird to set up it took me a while to set up i've had it for like two months or so this was like the first time I've really used it for like a whole video. I've tried to play with it before, but it's gave me issues and problems. For me, recording the videos to me, actually having enough space to record to the type of SD card that you use and, and a whole bunch of just issues that I've had trying to get the stuff on there. But I finally got it to work, so happy about that. Let's just get into the video, um, break down, started warming up, felt real nice, felt real strong, um, nothing too crazy, I'm not gonna lie, 225 felt a little iffy, for one, the, um, the guards on the bottom were a little too high, um, so I need one upsets, I hit, I hit it I think once and that threw me off a little bit, but it did feel kind of heavy, but then again I have been off for basically two months so it wasn't too crazy still felt decent still felt like um i could go up with a quite bit more weight but obviously first day back wasn't going to doing nothing too crazy um but it was almost so good i didn't show my actual warm-ups where i was warming up my shoulders did a little bit of band work beforehand we got to record that but um, did that before I did this because I didn't just jump on the bench. Um, don't really want to do that when I want my shoulders and all that to get a good blood flow going. But this, this, this is my top set right here. Did 315 for a 3x3. Three three. So, um, my pauses weren't as long as I wanted them to be. I wanted to pause a little, little bit longer, but it was still. Decent pauses on the reps. Um, I usually pause a little bit longer on my top singles, but you know, just getting back at the swing of things. It was still competition pauses, I feel like. Feeling like they were being too um, fast with the touch and go. They were still sitting on my chest for about half a second or so. So I feel like they were quality reps in there. Um, but I felt good though, with nothing crazy, especially for being two months off. Not like I expected to me to be hitting PRs or anything, but you know, not too much of a fall off so far. Um, I definitely have a number I want to hit for sure at the meet, probably around like 400, 405. Um, hopefully four or five, just saying that I can bench four big plates is like elite numbers in my book. I always felt like four or five was like impossible at one point, but you know, I feel like I can get there by the end of the year, especially in my weight class. I'm in the other video previously. I didn't know what my weight class was, but I can top out of like, 232, I think, what the conversion rate is. Um, I'll just say 230 be safe because they don't want to push it too much. But yeah, I'm 225, so I can, well, I usually roughly sit out, so I can add on five pounds, which is a lot of weight. But I'm not necessarily trying to do that, I'm just trying to 
get as strong as possible, try to maintain. Uh, I'm not trying to add too many pounds unless it's purely just muscle mass. I'm not trying to pack on too much fat just so I can lift more. Um, that sets we did 225 with um, roughly 90 pounds of change. Um, I say roughly because a lot of the chain is on the floor, as you see, it's a long chain. And that's not at even the end of it, even when it's at the top, it's still like a full up the chain, so it's a lot of chain. But I wanted to focus more on my lockouts, so the last time I tried to hit 405, I couldn't even um, move it at all, like this got stuck on my chest. So, incorporating a little bit of chain work, get that going. Um, this workout was like pretty standard volume for me personally. As you see, we go through um, nothing too high, but you know, just standard workout numbers. The numbers itself are a little bit low, but the the reps and sets for each lift, I say, is about a normal day's worth of volume. Um, so as you see, we switched over to the incline and that was um, about 185, yeah, 185, 25, so yeah, 185 for the inclines. Um, these were pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. My triceps were pretty fatigued at this point and it was a grind for sure. Very hard. Um, Still, even on incline, I try to hold it on my chest. It may still lift a little bit harder. And it just helps me get that mindset to try to push through reps. Um, not all lifts are about necessarily how much leg weight you can push. Even though I am trying to focus on more how much weight you can push with the power lift than me. But it's all about the ground as well. Grinding out these reps are definitely, I would say, tougher than any other flat bench work I did. Well, of course, it's after, but still, it's a lot less weight, relatively. So, it was still a pretty good grind, I would say. But then we switched from this to um, dumbbell presses. My shoulders definitely felt a lot weaker than what they used to be. Um, these are only 60 pound weights and by the time I got to about the third set, it was, I couldn't even finish the whole set. And I even tried to go down and still, shows are very fatigued. But, I'm getting back at it, um, for sure. Shoulders has definitely always been one of my weaker points. Um, not size wise, just strength wise, they definitely haven't been the best. Have decent, decently developed shoulders, but I think that's more due to genetics than me actually putting in the weight, putting in the time to get some shoulder, some good shoulder work in. Um, you wonder why you see my phone so much in these clips, it's because um, I was actually setting up my GoPro so you can actually control it. So I have to go walk to the GoPro every time. You can just stop and start recording each time from your phone. It's pretty convenient, actually. Very convenient. Um, you can't see it unless you're connected to Wi-Fi, like with the screen, with the camera sees. But just the Bluetooth connection, you can just start and stop it. Which I think is very convenient. Um, for sure. And as you can see, I, I failed the rep and I tried to hit it again, but like I said before, I couldn't even finish the reps, so I had to work myself down a little bit, which is fine, you know, I'm not worried about it. Overall, my strength, at least in the, the bench press wasn't too far from what I would consider. There's obviously some loss because I've hit 385 before we took in this big break. So definitely some fatigue, some loss, but not, nothing too crazy.
as you can see even when I dropped the weight it was still pretty hard to get through the sets and reps um, like I kept trying but it, the weight really wasn't moving for me so uh, we moved on to this to some cable work um, did some more shoulders with the cables um, and this is basically how I finished my workout for the most part. I did some cable works and some different variations on both sides. Um, not a lot of weight. Again, my shoulders were pretty fatigued as you can see. I'm just trying to get through it for sure. Form's a little bit off because I, I kind of did feel kind of awkward doing these. So, it's been a minute since I've done them, so forms a little bit off. But um, besides that, I want you guys to like and subscribe and do all that. Good jazz if you like the video. And tell me feedback, tell me comments. Do y'all want me to do stuff like this where it's just a straight off voiceover? Or do you just want me to let the video play through with just music in the background? It's up to you. Do y'all care about the accessories? Do y'all not? Um, what is this about you? Um, personally, I feel like it's a little bit more transparent, a little bit more easy to follow if I just record everything, upload a video for the day, and call it a day. Because it doesn't take too long to make these videos. It's just, um, I'll say, if y'all don't care about their accessories, it'd be a lot less video content for sure. Like, once a week, I'll only record the main clips and like do a couple of accessories in between time because it was short in the video before I got that done with the bench in like the first five minutes of the video so you know unless y'all just want five minute videos every day let me just lift in the lane lifts we'll see um based off feedback what we can do but you know if y'all ever wanted to just follow a routine or whatever just kind of follow what I did for the most part. Um, I did do dips after this, but the GoPro died on me because I forgot to bring the other battery. So battery li the battery life was pretty decent for sure, I will say. Um, lasted me about an um, hour and a half before it died. So I'll say it's pretty, pretty good. Especially considering that I was connected to it the whole time, still fidgeting with it and stuff, having a whole bunch of screen time. Because for those of you who don't know, if you just let it sit, it won't turn on the screen, which saves the battery life considerably more. Because there's two screens on the GoPro, one facing you and one facing the back. So you can see yourself if the camera's faced the other way, like towards you. So having that screen off is definitely very, very, um, battery saving so but yeah besides that um just let me know what you guys think about the video think about what we should do in the future for this video content for the prep and let me know um what changes i'd like to see but yeah besides that man um just let the video play out and y'all have a good one peace